This is The Randy Rhodes Show on 960 KNEW and online at 960KNEW.com. No moans this Monday. It's BS News for this, the 7th of January, 2013, and away we go. Dateline, sauerkraut. Charles Krauthammer said that the original $60 billion Hurricane Sandy relief bill that John Boehner blocked in the House was, quote, a rape of the Treasury. Sadly, uh-huh. Todd Aiken is no longer in the House, so he can't advise the Treasury Department on how they could shut the whole thing down. Dateline, reading, writing, and ammunition. The state of Alabama is considering a bill that would arm school teachers. In the future, Alabama school children will be told that when they raise their hands in class, it would be smart to raise both hands and not to make any sudden movements. Dateline, hammer time. Fox News is trumpeting statistics that show that more people are killed with hammers and clubs each year than with assault rifles. If conservatives really believe that, why doesn't Alabama just arm school teachers with hammers? Hmm. Okay. Dateline, Johnny on the spot. In an interview, John Boehner complained about the difficulty of being Speaker of the House, saying, quote, I need this job like I need a hole in the head. (laughs) Boehner certainly doesn't want any holes in his head. That would mean he has termites. Finally, Dateline between the uprights. A viral video of a man in Norway making a series of amazing field goal kicks with an American football has gotten the man a tryout with the New York Jets. People who have seen the video say the only way this guy could actually miss a field goal would be if he was wearing a uniform of the New York Jets. Ouch. I got a kick out of that one. It's BS News for Monday. Have a great week. Yes. It will be a good week. It really will. So, it's so interesting to me how the media is pretending as if the first time they ever heard President Barack Hussein Obama talk about how he will not deal uh, on the debt ceiling, that he doesn't want a debate at all. Either they, you know, uh, default the United States for the first time in the history of the United States and make us into some deadbeat nation that doesn't pay our bills or they will raise the debt ceiling. Other than that, nothing is on the table. Nothing is to be horse traded. Nothing is to be talked about in exchange for not defaulting the United States. That is the position of the president. He has said this as early as last January at the State of the Union, which, by the way, uh, I can't wait for this year's State of the Union because it will be, as Lindsey Graham says, the second term of Barack Obama is going to be an in-your-face term. You lie. (laughs) <laughs> it will. It will be an amazing State of the Union because this is when they lay out what they intend to do over the next uh, you know, year or so. Now, last year, uh, when we had the State of the Union, Barack Obama told the Congress that that fiasco that was the debt ceiling debacle will not happen again because it was the biggest blow to our economy in 2011. The greatest blow to our confidence... You know, our economy last year didn't come from events beyond our control. It came from a debate in Washington over whether the United States would pay its bills or not. Who benefited from that fiasco? Yeah, really. Who benefited from that fiasco? Who did really well because the Republicans took us to the brink of default? 